Hello and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, for today, I will go for our uh, cross asset list. So I will cover coffee market, WTI, uh, US 100, US 30. I will speak about USD yen, pound dollar, euro dollar, dollar index, Bitcoin, gold market, and aluminium. So I will start with the coffee market first. And uh, of course, I will use uh, our FX Centrum platform for this analysis so let's start with the coffee market we have a daily time frame here and uh, we can see here that uh, the fast line is very close to the down sloping uh, slow line of stochastic oscillator so this can be a just a simple correction based on this downside movement and uh, we can see that rate of change we have a downside flip on the rate of change so from my perspective, the market can uh, retake and trade below 199.60 mark, 199.20 mark. There'll be a chance for a retest of 193.80 mark and maybe even a, a bigger drop towards the 182 mark, which is the cluster of the lows from the, uh, from the background. So pay attention to the potential downside continuation. We can see the volatility uh, is still increasing on the coffee market. So uh, there is a definitely chance for the downside continuation. You can see also the hourly there was some free pushes higher at this point, and um, we have a divergence uh, on the stochastic oscillator. So a good uh, sign for the further downside development. On the WTI, uh, we can see that there was a um, downside. So market that. Uh, you don't even have power to trade towards 81 mark and the middle Bollinger Band at 80.70 mark. So if the market can retake the pin bar low at this point at 77, there will be a chance for a bigger drop towards 72 mark for my view because this is a area of the let's say cluster or cluster from the from the background. If you put it like a rising trend line, we can see that market is just doing the consolidation around, and for me this is a continuational pattern. At this point, we have a rate of change uh, upside uh, flip at this point. So, but I will see if the market can retake the current day low, the day's low at 77.80. There will be a chance for a retest of uh, 77 mark. The hourly time frame, you can see the clear downside break of the lower Bollinger Band, and now market is just trying to contract. So, we'll see after this consolidation, can we have a another rebreak to the downside or we have some reaction upside but so far daily is uh, poised for the downside movement short term speaking now we have us 100 uh, we had so in the background we had a breakout of the uh, from my perspective distribution process but this is more like a channeling mode there was a strong breakout market traded all the way down to 17,000 mark with them those buying and as you can see, the slow line is still sloping to the upside. Now, slow line is almost around the 80 plus mark. The fast line is getting closer to the slow line. And we have quite a big resistance at 18,000, let's say 300 mark. We have a pin bar height, 18,265. Uh, so uh, from my perspective, as long, um, as long as the market is trading below the all time high, so we could, we have an all time high round, which is show you. So at this point we have eighteen thousand, let's say five hundred. As long as we are trading below this mark, and we don't have a continuational move and hold above this level, there is a chance for a downside movement. Now we need to see. Uh, I would like to see not just the market to break the lower Bollinger Band on the hourly and just like this break and then reject. I want to see the break and hold. So something like we have for example something that we had here the breakout consolidation the rebreak and so for this perspective anything meaningful to the downside i would like to first for the market to clear 18,120 and 18,100 mark if market can clear that and trade below and this can be a good potential sign for the downside movement so so far a very tight consolidation last couple of days slow line around the 80 plus mark and we have a tight consolidation so we'll uh, need to see the confirmation 
We have a here US 30 market on the daily time frame, just going alongside the upper Bollinger Band. The fast and slow line. Now fast line is getting close. Slow line. We have this rate of change divergence. So market is making higher highs, also is making lower highs. Bearish divergence. We had some narrow day on uh, Friday. Hourly time frame is pretty compressed, contracted at this point. So if market can break hold below 39,400, there will be a chance for a downside movement. If on the other side, if market trade upside above 39,600 and hold above, there will be a chance maybe for the full retest of the of the 39,000, let's say at 40,000 mark. But as I said, the divergence on the rate of change and the fast and slow line is getting pretty much close to each other. So we might see some rotation at this point, upper Bollinger Band. We had already a couple of days uh, higher and we didn't have single uh, down day since one, two, three, about seven days in a row. We didn't have a down day. So there's always chance for that and at least pull back on this US 30. On the USD Japanese Yen, so what we can see here, if we go to the daily time frame, so this was uh, the trade idea that we that we have posted uh, last week. And this trading idea is pretty much around this up uh, first upside objective. Um, we posted this idea when the market was around this 153, 35, 154. Mark is now trading uh, almost around 156, which is our first upside objective. And here, Mark is just doing the tight consolidation around the middle Bollinger Band on a daily time frame. But look at the hourly is holding very well. And as long as that's the case, and we don't have a major downbreak, so there is a still chance for higher prices. Then the next upside objective, if the market can break and hold above 156.20. And the next upside objective is all the way up at uh, 157 uh, mark. You can see here that um, there was um, one attempt for the sellers to trade lower, but we just basically retested lower ball in Japan and we, we now we are back into the upper territory and trading above the 60 50 level on stochastic. So, this is a sign of the strength so far. Still, chance for higher prices. Now pound is doing consolidation. We have a resistance, the pin bar high at 1.2, I will say 1.2, 630 mark. We have a support area and the pin bar low at 1.2450 mark. So we're basically between the support resistance. We have a contraction that is happening on the Bollinger Band. Fast and slow line are sloping to the downside in that sense. But so far, I will say this is a consolidation. I would like to see the breakout either support or resistance for any meaningful directional move. Euro dollar is pretty much similar. So we had now the fast line is getting closer to the slow line. Uh, we have a resistance at 1.0812 and we have a support around 1.0720 mark. So consolidation is going on. Now we have a dollar index. On the dollar index, we had a rejection, uh, but here we can see the slow line is sloping to the downside and fast line is sloping to the downside. So if the market can re-break, for example, 105.75 and hold above, then there will be a chance for a upside movement towards, for example, 106.45, an upper Bollinger Band. On the other side, the market can re-break lower, um, the pin bar low at 104.50, and there will be a chance for a downside movement towards, for example, 104 mark or even 103 mark. So we need to observe this. Our is pretty much like in contraction. There was a down attempt and an immediate uh, reaction up. So now we have this tight, tight consolidation on the hourly time frame. So we like to see the breakout and hold either above this level or below this level. And on the Bitcoin, so we had this down break. It was a clean down break and no bigger reaction from buyers. So now we have a possible bear flag on the hourly, as you can see here. Let me just show you this point. So we have this bear flag. 
So if mar if mar if the market can rebreak this to the downside, so if market can trade below sixty thousand mark, let's say there will be a chance for a bigger downside movement, maybe even towards like a fifty-seven thousand mark, and then we have the next level at fifty-three thousand mark, and so on and so forth, and then around the forty-two, forty-three thousand mark. Still, uh, still on the daily time frame, mark trading below the middle Bollinger band. We have more like a contraction and on the Bitcoin here on the daily on the Boll in the Bollinger band. So. Um, Still, from my perspective, the rebreak of 60,000 mark can be a good a confirmation and continuation of pattern for the Bitcoin for the further downside movement. On the gold market, the daily time frame is contracting. So we can see there was um, the fast line is all the way up around the 80 mark, low line is sloping to the upside. There was a rate of change flip to the downside, so and then this day and on Friday we close in the middle, so this is not a particularly good uh, sign of strength, it's more like a sign of weakness. So now we have again 24, 20, 24, 23 key resistance levels, key support around 22.79. So we are in this basically consolidation and the Bollinger Band is pretty much contracting and it's pretty tight at this point, so I would like to see major breakout of this contraction in order to confirm further directional move. And on aluminium we had a down break. So as you can see slow and fast line are sloping to the downside and the market closed just around this 2515. And we have a lower Bollinger Band. If market can break this level then the next downside objective can be this say 2392 mark or 20 or 34 mark. So that will be all for this FX Centrum daily market analysis. Um, if you didn't visit our, uh, our website, you can do that. So fxcentrum.com, you can explore 100% um, deposit bonus. This is a very, very big boost for your account. Um, FX CTV, so you can check a previous analysis on different markets. I um, mean, always, um, you'll be always updated if you subscribe on your YouTube channel, and so you'll always be updated. All the new ideas and uh, new coverage in the market, different tutorials. You can uh, open account literally in a few minutes. It will take like a couple of minutes to open account, and of course, um, then you can enjoy our our software, our platform, basically, FX Centrum uh, charting uh, platform. So that'll be all for this FX Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, have a good uh, trading day, and uh, speak to you soon.